pioneering work using a mannequin to train midwives in Bristol has dramatically reduced the number of babies born with damaged shoulders. A four-year study at Southmead Hospital showed that in that time, not a single baby suffered from long-term damage from a condition where nerves around the neck are stretched. Matthew Hill has the story. And I'm going to grasp the baby's arm, OK? Southmead was the first hospital to use this artificial birthing model to put midwives through their paces before they try it out for real. Since it was introduced, it's reduced a type of injury from shoulder dystocia dramatically. Shoulder dystocia happens when the baby's head has been born, but one of the shoulders becomes stuck behind the mother's pubic bone, delaying the birth of the baby's body. An injury can occur when the nerves around the neck are stretched, the most common of which is known as Herb's palsy. And the harder you pull, the more likely you are to injure the baby and have nerve damage. But the instinctive reaction if a baby is stuck and you need to get the baby out is to pull. And so a lot of our training is all about how we use specific manoeuvres to stop staff pulling and to gently, carefully deliver the baby safely. The study only happened through the collaboration with the Bristol-based Limbs and Things, which now makes almost any artificial human body part you can think of. According to a study by Southmead Hospital looking over a four-year period from 2008, not a single baby suffered long-term damage from shoulder dystocia, where they normally expect three or four cases. And as far as the hospital are aware, there haven't been any cases since then. What we don't want to do in this situation, even though we really feel we want to, is to pull hard on the baby's head. Midwives and obstetricians across the world are now being trained using this model. So it seems this project could save tens of thousands of babies from a lifetime of paralysis. Matthew Hill, BBC Points West. An